Okay, there is a new feature in ChatGPT where you can naturally have a conversation with AI and you can control certain apps within the chat window. So at the moment, you can control apps like Booking.com, Canva, Coursera, Expedia, Figma, Spotify, Zillow, and many others in the future. And the best part about this new feature is that it is available even to the free users on ChatGPT. So you don't have to use the paid version of the platform. And the only requirement is you have to log into your account. And also perhaps one thing that I have to mention here is at the moment, at least when I'm recording this video, this feature is not available in the European Union. So according to OpenAI, it will be available in the future, but not at the moment. So if you are from the European Union countries, then I guess you have to wait a bit more to be able to access this new feature. Now, how do you control or use apps within ChatGPT? Well, it's quite simple. Just mention the name of the app and then describe the instruction or the thing that the app or the AI must perform. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a demonstration on how to use an app. In this case, I'm going to be using Figma and I just want to create something with Figma, but it will be created via ChatGPT. So let me just open ChatGPT and I'll start a new thread. Again, you can just mention the name of the app and then you can describe the thing that it needs to perform. Or if you want to be a bit more specific, you can use the add character like this and then type the name of the app. So after that, you can select the app. And in this case, I want AI to generate a mocha for a messaging app that is focused on privacy. Okay, let me just send a message and if you're doing this for the first time, there's a good chance that you might have to log in with your app account. And I have to connect my ChatGPT and Figma account, but don't worry, the process is very, very uh, easy. It is fast and you don't have to worry about security or anything. So I'm going to click continue and click continue with Figma or any app that you're using. And just click agree and allow access. Okay, so far so good. And immediately it will start doing the action or the thing that it needs to perform according to this instruction. So it might take several seconds up to several minutes depending on the complexity of the task. So yeah, actually it's pretty quick and it is generating this sort of uh, workflow, which is very, very simple. I mean, this is not exactly a mockup, but I guess I have to ask it again. Okay, I wanted to generate a mockup using Figma. Okay, let me try it again and hopefully I can create something. But even if it is not able to create a nice looking mockup, then I guess it is because uh, right now it can only perform some basic tasks and even that is very limited and according to some users, it is not very consistent. So it is still very early and perhaps you can only perform some basic tasks, but I think it is still very useful. Okay, yeah, it is not able to create a mockup, but I think it is fine. Now, if you want to see the result in the app, then you can click this button. And in this case, it will open Figma and I can copy or export this design to my account. And there you go. Now this is on my account. And if I open my Figma account, I can see that this is the design that was created by the app within ChatGPT. So that's the basic way how you can interact with apps within ChatGPT. Of course, I cannot cover every single app that is available and the list will actually get expanded in the future. But basically, you just need to mention the name of the app or you can use the add character and then specify the app and then describe the thing that you want to do. So that's how you can use the app feature in ChatGPT. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.